divest, to get rid of an investment, part of a business, etc. by selling. Under the New Deal, the company agreed to divest itself of half its revenues, so they could distribute it among their creditors. Divinity. The state of being a god. The divinity of Hercules is evident in the ancient myths told about him throughout time. Divisive. Tending to cause disagreements that separate people into opposing groups. The divisive proposal split the committee into two opposing sides. Divulge. To make something secret known. Doctors must be careful not to divulge confidential information about their patients. Doctrinaire. Based on and following fixed beliefs rather than considering practical problems. His doctrinaire attitude turned off others as he attempted to force his personal beliefs. Document. To record information about something by writing about it or taking photographs of it. The study documents various aspects of Indian life in this period. Doff. To remove your hat, usually to show respect. He doffed his hat as they went by. Dogged. Very determined to do something, even if it is very difficult. Even though John was miles behind the other runners, his dogged determination would not let him quit the race. Doggirl. Poetry that is silly or badly written. My professor called my poetry collection Doggirl and gave me a failing grade on the project. Dogmatic. Strongly expressing your beliefs as if they were facts. The preacher was a dogmatic individual who was quick to argue with anyone who challenged his opinion. Dormant. Not active or growing, but having the ability to be active at a later time. Since the volcano is dormant right now, you do not have to be concerned about interrupting. Doting. Showing that you love someone very much. We saw photographs of the doting father with a baby on his knee. Dovetail. To fit together well, or to cause something to fit together well with something else. We've tried to dovetail our plans with theirs. Downplay. To make something seem less important or less bad than it really is. Some politicians continue to downplay the seriousness of the virus, even though scientists are clear that it might lead to a nationwide pandemic. Doyen. The oldest, most experienced, and often most respected person of all the people involved in a particular type of work. The doyen of the group joined the Boy Scouts of America before any of the other current members did. Draconian. Extremely severe. The book is based on the true story of a 17th century draconian ruler who brutally killed anyone who disagreed with him. Droll. Humorous, especially in an unusual way. I love this anthology because all the stories are droll and entertaining, rather than making me think too hard. Droplet. A small drop of liquid. The virus is primarily transmitted between people through respiratory droplets and contact roots. Dross. Something that has no use or no value. The documentary was dross and taught me nothing new about our current president. Dubious. Feeling doubt or not feeling certain. The firm was accused of dubious accounting practices. Dulcet. Soft and pleasant to listen to. It does not take long for the baby to be comforted by his mother's dulcet singing. Dull. Not clear, bright, or shiny. We could just see a dull glow given off by the fire's last embers. Dupe. To deceive someone, usually by making that person do something that they did not intend to do. My brother is a schemer who is always trying to do people out of their money. Duplicity. Dishonest talker behavior, especially by saying different things to two people. Most politicians use duplicity to deceive voters just long enough to get their votes. Dwarf. To make something seem small by comparison. The new skyscraper will dwarf all those near it. Dwindle. To become smaller in size or amount, or fewer in number. As the number of workers began to dwindle because of the cutbacks, the workload of each person became intolerable. Dynamism. The quality of being dynamic. The freshness and dynamism of her approach was welcomed by all her students. Dynamo. A device that changes energy of movement into electrical energy, or an energetic force. The marketing dynamo was able to push the company's new product to the toughest critics. Dyspeptic. Always angry or easily annoyed. The dyspeptic man could not determine if he was happy or sad. 
dystopia. A very bad unfair society in which there is a lot of suffering, especially an imaginary society in the future, after something terrible has happened, a description of such a society. The novel was set in an unfair society called a dystopia. Earnest. Sincere and serious. The girl's earnest effort counterbalanced her slowness at learning. Earthy. Enjoying and being honest or clear about things connected to life, such as the body and emotions. The stairs are decorated in golds and earthy browns. Ebullient. Very energetic, positive, and happy. The ebullient song was so uplifting that I danced in my chair. Eccentric. Strange or unusual, sometimes in a humorous way. The old lady has some eccentric habits. Echelon. A ranker position within an organization, company, or profession. The prominent college ranks among the top echelon of schools in the nation. Eclectic. Consisting of different types, methods, styles, etc. The restaurant's menu was eclectic and included foods from a number of ethnic groups and cultures. Eclipse. To make another person or thing seem much less important, good, or famous. The economy has eclipsed all other issues during this selection campaign. Edify. To improve someone's mind. Travel is an edifying experience, especially for young people. Editorial. An article in a newspaper that expresses the editor's opinion on a subject of particular interest at the present time. The newspaper editorial defamed the politician who often used duplicity. Effervescent. Active, positive, and full of energy. The teacher called her personality effervescent because she was extremely bubbly. A feat. Weak and without much power. During the Middle Ages Greek civilization declined and became a feat. Efficacious. Able to produce the intended result. Because my medicine is very efficacious, I expect to feel better soon. Efficacy. The quality of being effective. Fortunately, the new medicine verified the efficacy to reduce the amount of pain. Effigy. A model or other object that represents someone, especially one of a hated person that is hanged or burned in a public place. As soon as the citizens learned their brutal leader was dead, they burned an effigy of his image. Effrontery. Extreme rudeness without any ability to understand that your behavior is not acceptable to other people. I was shocked that she had the effrontery to ask me for more money. Effusive. Expressing welcome, approval, or pleasure in a way that shows very strong feeling. She was effusive in her praise of the judges who awarded her the trophy. Egotistical. Having, showing, or arising from an exaggerated sense of self-importance. He doesn't have many friends due to his egotistical personality keeping them away. Egregious. Extremely bad in a way that is very noticeable. Even though he was told to be quiet in church, he was still egregious by talking loudly during the sermon. Egress. The act or way of leaving a place. I had a panic attack in the haunted house when I could not find an egress leading to the outside. Elegy. A sad poem or song, especially remembering someone who has died or something in the past. Since I am not an animal lover, I could only sigh as she sang an elegy for her dead cat. Elicit. To get or produce something, especially information or a reaction. The comedian hoped his jokes would elicit a great deal of laughter from the audience. Elixir. A substance, usually a liquid, with a magical power to cure, improve, or preserve something. The salesman was selling an elixir that he said would protect us all from the plague. Eloquent. Giving a clear, strong message. The defense lawyer made an eloquent plea for his client's acquittal. Elucidate. To explain something or make something clear. The aim of the report is to elucidate the main points of the new regulations. Elision. Blissful, or delightful. We spent three elision weeks at Barbados away from work for summer vacation. Emaciated. Very thin and weak, usually because of illness or extreme hunger. Because some sick animals refuse to eat, many of them become emaciated. Embed. To fix something firmly into a substance. The long pole was embedded in cement. Embellish. To make something more beautiful by adding something to it. 
because Marco has always had a tendency to embellish the truth no one believed he had been mugged. Embrace. To hold someone tightly with both arms to express love, liking, or sympathy, or when greeting or leaving someone. The two children began to embrace and hug each other before saying goodbye. Embroil. To cause someone to become involved in an argument or a difficult situation. I avoided my two best friends for a little while because I did not want to get embroiled in their dispute. Eminence. The state of being famous respected, or important. Taylor Swift's eminence as a creative singer and style icon make her one of the most well-known celebrities in the world. Emollient. Making dry or sore skin softer or less painful. Almond oil is renowned for its soothing, emollient properties. Empathy. The ability to share someone else's feelings or experiences by imagining what it would be like to be in that person's situation. Because her parents immigrated to the United States to give her a better life, Maria has empathy for illegal aliens. Empirical. Based on what is experienced or seen rather than on theory. Our data is based on empirical evidence collected in numerous studies. Emulate. To copy something achieved by someone else and try to do it as well as they have. The boy would emulate his father's morning routine from reading the newspaper to sipping coffee. Enamor. To cause someone to like or love something or someone. The dancer will use her skillful moves to enamor the judging panel. Encomium. A piece of writing, speech, etc. that praises someone or something. He pronounced a splendid encomium on her in the forum. Endearing. Making someone like you. At the beginning of their relationship the enamored teens would write endearing love notes to each other every day. Endemic. Found particularly in a specific area or group. The poisonous snake must have come from another country because it is not endemic to our nation. Endorse. To make a public statement of your approval or support for something or someone. If the president chooses to endorse the politician, he will lose many supporters who oppose the legislator. Enervate. To make someone feel weakened without energy. The alcohol appeared to enervate your ability to focus at work. And gender. To make people have a particular feeling or make a situation start to exist. The restaurant hoped the act of giving out free ice cream would engender customer loyalty. Enigmatic. Mysterious and impossible to understand completely. When I was growing up, I viewed my father as an enigmatic man who rarely spent time with me. Enormity. An extremely evil actor the quality of being extremely evil. We cannot imagine the enormity of the torture our captured soldiers have endured. Enrage. To cause someone to become very angry. Plans to build a new baseball park may enrage the nearby homeowners with traffic and noise concerns. Enrapture. To give someone very great pleasure. I was so enraptured when I walked down the aisle with my father while the other waits at the altar. Enshrine. To contain or keep in a place that is highly admired and respected. The concept of individual liberty is enshrined in the Constitution. Enthrall. To keep someone completely interested. I was completely enthralled by the handsome actor. Entitlement. Something that you have a right to do or have or the right to do or have something. The paid holiday entitlement is 25 days under the new policy. Entomology. The scientific study of insects. Since I'm not into insects, I'm not looking forward to taking the entomology class in this semester. Entreat. To try very hard to persuade someone to do something. I entreat you to donate some time tomorrow for our neighborhood cleanup program. Enumerate. To name things separately, one by one. Before the judge began to enumerate the charges against him, he asked to speak privately with the prosecutor. Enunciate. To express and explain a plan or principle clearly or formally. The speech coach reminded the students to enunciate their words so people could comprehend what they were saying. Ephemeral. Lasting for only a short time. Ephemeral art painted on the sidewalks will wash away when it rains. Epicure. A person who enjoys high-quality food and drink. My uncle is an epicure who will travel across the country to find a tasty dish. Epileptic. 
suffering from or caused by epilepsy. He was epileptic and refused to take medication for his condition. Epistemology, the part of philosophy that is about the study of how we know things. Genetic epistemology is the science of how knowledge is acquired. Epithet, a word or phrase used to describe someone, often as an insult. The epithet curly is used to describe the big football player with the curly hair. Epitome, the typical or highest example of a stated quality as shown by a particular person or thing. Because our mayor is the epitome of good citizen, he has been in office for over 10 years. Equable, not changing suddenly. Because she is so equable, my even-tempered mother rarely gets upset. Equanimity, a calm mental state, especially after a shock or disappointment or in a difficult situation. His equanimity allowed him to keep a clear head and escape the burning building. Equilateral triangle, a triangle that has all sides the same length. An equilateral triangle is a triangle in which all three sides are equal. Equitable, treating everyone fairly and in the same way. Both sides agreed to try to find an equitable compromise that would please everyone. Equivocal, unclear and seeming to have two opposing meanings, or confusing and able to be understood in two different ways. Since the defendant's alibi is equivocal, the jury will disregard it almost instantly. Equivocate, to speak in a way that is intentionally not clear and confusing to other people, especially to hide the truth the courts continue to equivocate as to whether the traditional approach should be maintained. Errant, going in a wrong direction. She went to Paris to bring back her errant son. Erratic, moving or behaving in a way that is not regular, certain, or expected. When the police officer saw the man driving in an erratic manner, he pulled him over to question him. Erroneous, wrong or false. If you have used erroneous statistics in your report, you will have to start over from the beginning. Airsots, used instead of something else, usually because the other thing is too expensive or rare. The art expert quickly recognized the airsots painting as a fake. Erstwhile, previous, his erstwhile friends turned against him, 